Hey guys, so today I'm filming an exciting video. I'm going to be filming the eyeshadow junkie tag. And before I get into the video, I wanted to ask for your all's help again. If you have not seen any of my recent videos, I was nominated for Star Central Magazine's Beauty Guru of the Month of November. And to win, I need your votes. I will have the link in the description box. Please, please go vote for me. You can vote once a day. And let me tell you, those other girls are kicking my butt. So I really appreciate all all of you that have voted so far it does mean the world to me so uh, now just back into the video so I was super excited that another tag video went around because tag videos are some of my absolute favorites this was created by three youtubers fancy that with Candice war paint beauty with Tara Michelle and Jolie Dawn Olson I will have all of their channels and their videos linked down below I will also have the questions listed down below and a list of all of the people that I will be tagging I would love it if you guys would do this video Video as well because I think the questions are super fun and I really wanted to do this video because eyeshadow is the first type of makeup that I fell in love with then I moved on to blushes brow products highlight contouring lip products and I'm starting to come full circle I'm starting to come back around to fall in love with eyeshadow all over again so I really wanted to do this video and just a little warning very true to most of my tag videos I cheated big time I don't just have one answer for a lot of these questions I have multiple answers so hopefully you guys won't be bothered by that hopefully you know more options the better I just don't want to leave anything out question number one is what is your favorite drugstore line for eyeshadow and I actually have three different lines here to talk about and that's because the first two aren't true drugstore brands and that would be ColourPop and Makeup Geek. These are my absolute favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadow in the drugstore budget but because you cannot purchase ColourPop and Makeup Geek at an actual drugstore I wanted to show you guys something that you could so I'm not totally cheating and that would be the Maybelline Eye Studio Plush Silk Quads. These are some of my absolute favorite. This shade right here is Cozy Cashmere which was a a limited edition shade but I will link it down below for you guys I have been able to find it a couple places online the Maybelline Eye Studio quads are awesome almost all of them are really shimmery and metallic so you will need matte transition brow bone colors um, but they're really really nice quality very pigmented smooth and blendable so those are my favorite drugstore lines for eyeshadow question number two is what is your favorite eyeshadow primer for me hands down that is the Milani eyeshadow primer I have tried a ton I've tried Lorac Urban Decay I've tried the elf primer which I used to use for years and the Milani is just as good if not better than all of those I've had this tube for about a year using it every single day so you will definitely be getting your money's worth I think this is about five or six dollars it is amazing I love the packaging that it is in a squeeze tube because that makes it sanitary if you want to use it on other people and I have very oily eyelids as does my sister hers are even worse than mine and shadow creases on us like crazy but the only thing that works for her is the Milani eyeshadow primer I can get away with a couple other primers but her lids are super duper oily and the Milani works the best for her so I would recommend this hands down it is my favorite holy grail eye primer question number three is what was your very first eyeshadow purchase and do you still use it honestly I cannot quite remember I I do know that when I was younger my cousin gave me an eyeshadow trio that I used for a while and that was coverall shimmering sands that is such a popular trio three really great Great light neutral colors that would work for any beginner or anyone that does want a no makeup makeup look or just likes natural makeup I do not still use them I don't like covergirl shadows that trio is like the exception it actually has really nice pigmentation but the other shades are not impressive especially their colorful shadows so I do not use that anymore I don't have it but it was the first eyeshadow that I remember using question number four is what is your favorite drugstore eyeshadow shadow dupe and this was hard for me because when I know something is a dupe I don't buy the drugstore and high-end version some shadows I have the high-end version some shadows I have the drugstore version but I wanted to pick a dupe where I could show you the drugstore and high-end version and I really only had one which is a little bit of a bummer so sorry about that but 
at least I have one, I guess. So the dupe would be for Urban Decay Sin. This is in the Naked palette. And the dupe for it is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Eyelid Shade. Now the Wet n Wild has a little bit more of a peachy tone to it, but they look identical on the eye. And the formula of this Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Trio is phenomenal. I have purchased this for all of my friends and family who like more natural makeup. So that is my drugstore eyeshadow to do. Question number five is most underrated. What is a product that you love but you never hear anyone talk about? And for me that would be the Alme Trio for Greens in the shade 024. I believe this was discontinued. They don't even make this type of packaging anymore but these shades are perfect for green eyes. They're very pigmented, smooth, and blendable. This is amazing. I wear this so so much in the winter time. It is seriously a holy grail trio for me. I actually have one for my sister as well. We both love it. It really does complement green eyes and it's an amazing formula. I haven't tried the new trios from Alme. I'm not sure if they compare to the quality of this one, but incredible. If you can find this on eBay or Amazon, I'd recommend you pick it up. Even if you don't have green eyes, the colors are beautiful. So the colors are a seashell pink, a burgundy, and a cream absolutely stunning. Question number six is what is your favorite single shadow? I cheated big time on this one because singles are my favorite and the one that if I had to only pick one would be Wet n Wild Brulee. I know you guys are like wow you picked the most boring color ever and this is a staple. This is the only eyeshadow I have ever completely used up and repurchased. As you can see, I've hit pan on this one as well. This is the perfect matte cream brow bone highlight for me. I also use this to sharpen up the outer edges of my eye. I probably could use it to set my under eyes as well. I know some people like it that way, but this is seriously so smooth and pigmented. The formula of the Wet n Wild singles are incredible. I really wish that they would make more shades to choose from and I wish that this matte formula was consistent in their trios and their other palettes. Wet n Wild has really inconsistent shadow quality but Brulee is amazing. I have a backup of this. I'm If this ever gets discontinued I will buy like 12 of them. It is amazing. I never want to be without this eyeshadow. So I do have a couple other single shadow favorites that came to mind that I had to share with you as well because like I just don't want to leave anything out. Like I said, like these eyeshadows are all important to me, okay? So the next two single shadows that are my favorite would be Urban Decay, YDK, and Tease. Both of these are in the Naked 2 palette, but I tend to use them more in single form. I bought the singles before I bought the Naked 2 palette and uh, amazing. These are the most beautiful taupey colors. I wear these a ton in the winter time and they have an amazing formula, incredible metallic, incredible matte shade, very pigmented, smooth, and blendable without having a ton of fallout or being chalky. Very impressed with these colors and formulas. And my last favorite single shadow is from my MAC palette. I love all of these singles so much, but the eyeshadow I'm choosing is Sumptuous Olive. This is one of the first MAC eyeshadows I ever purchased and absolutely fell in love with. This is a Velux Pearl Finish, which is one of my favorites, the most beautiful golden olive color. I really gravitate towards this one in the summertime and the fall time. It's an amazing, amazing color. I love all of my MAC shadows, but Sumptuous Olive was really like the first MAC shadow I fell in love with. Question number seven is what is your favorite cream eyeshadow? And I cheated again and I have two different cream eyeshadow lines from a drugstore that I'm obsessed with. I have several shades in both of these lines. So the first one is a cream shadow in a pot. These are the Maybelline color tattoos and this is the shade Bad to the Bronze which I am trying to finish up but this is my favorite color. It is a cool tone bronze so it does have some taupe in there. It's beautiful wearing it on my lids today. An amazing amazing metallic color. This looks amazing on everyone. If you are wanting to just pop on some shadow and apply mascara and walk out the door, Bad to the Bronze is the perfect perfect shade for that. I love the Maybelline color tattoo formula. Like I said I have a ton of colors, some neutrals and some brights and that one is my favorite. My other favorite drugstore cream shadow line is in pencil form. So I feel like I can justify talking about both 
both of them because this is potted cream shadow and pencil cream shadow and these are the milani shadow eyes pencils these are my two favorite shades again i have several neutrals and bright shades milani did discontinue a bunch of their shades which is a bummer because you can never have too many cream shadows like come on milani but these are my two favorite they are both matte this is Almond Cream and Cafe Olay, a nice warm mid-tone brown. Question number eight is favorite neutral shadow. Again, I have quite a few for this one as well, but the first shadow that came to mind for me is actually the Milani Bella Eyes and Bella Cappuccino number three. This is a great transition color for fair skin. It is a neutral light tan color. I have hit pan on this one of the only eyeshadows I've ever hit pan on. It is incredible. I do have an entire review on the Milani Bella Eyes eyeshadows, which I will link up here in case you want to check that out. So this is the first neutral favorite shadow that came to mind. Then I do have a couple more. The next one is Makeup Geeks Frappe. This is a beautiful, beautiful warm tone tan color that I love applying as a transition slash crease color. Very pigmented, smooth, and blendable. I love Makeup Geek Shadow Formula. And then I have two ColourPop shadows that are holy grail to me. I have so many ColourPop shades, but these are the two that I would definitely repurchase and never want to be without. The first shade is Get Lucky, which is an ultra metallic finish. And this is a beautiful, dirty gold. It is not like a bright yellow gold. I love wearing this around the holiday time with a burgundy lip. My other ColourPop shadow favorite is Sequin, which is a beautiful mix between a rose gold and a copper. This is a metallic finish. And question number nine is favorite colorful eyeshadow. And for me, this was a little bit more difficult. When I first started wearing eyeshadow, I wore bright colors every single day. And over the past year and a half, I've really become more of a neutral girl, which makes me a little bit sad because I do love color, but I do have two favorite colorful eyeshadows for you. And the first one is Makeup Geeks Bitten, which is an amazing red burgundy color that I love putting in the crease. This is an absolute must have for me. Again, amazing formula, very pigmented and smooth. So if you don't have that one, seriously, everyone needs to have it. And my other colorful shadow favorite is a new one to me that I really only got a couple weeks ago and I've fallen in love. This is one of the Estee Lauder Cyber Shadows in the shade Cyber Teal. This is just like the MAC Extra Dimension Shadow Formula. This was discontinued, so check your CCO, but this is amazing, amazing shade. I wore it on my lid in my last monthly makeup basket. Question number 10 is what is your most favorite eyeshadow palette ever? You guys know I'm not much of a palette person, but these two palettes here are ride or die holy grails for me. I have a pre-made palette and a customized palette. So I figured the customized palette's kind of cheating, so I did want to show you my favorite pre-made palette. This is the Balm's Matte Nude. I know a lot of people talked about this when it first came out, but I haven't heard people talk about it much recently, but it's amazing. It has nine neutral matte shades shadows that are very pigmented, smooth, and creamy, blendable without being overly blendable. And my go-to look with this palette is using Matte Malloy on my lid and brow bone, Matte Sing as a transition, which is the most beautiful peachy tan transition for fair skin. It doesn't pull too orange or too brown. It's amazing. And then using this warm brown Matte Rosen in the crease. I love this. It is one of my go-to looks for an all matte, warm tone, neutral eye. I don't use the other shades very much, but I would absolutely buy this palette again just for those three colors because I reach for them so often. And then my favorite customized palette is my MAC eyeshadow palette. Now, MAC eyeshadows used to be all the rage. I started purchasing them when they were really popular, and I still think MAC eyeshadows are really, really great quality. Now, if you are someone that likes Lorac shadows, you might might not like MAC because the consistency is very different. Lorac are really creamy and kind of powdery and MAC are very densely packed. I prefer the quality of MAC shadows and their consistency. So this is my MAC palette. I do have an entire video swatching and giving you color descriptions of all of the shades except I haven't purchased Fig One yet. I'll link that up here. And I am obsessed with this palette. I love these shades so much. I don't feel the need to go buy any other MAC shades as of now. I love the way that I've been able to organize it. This is my warm tone, cool tone, and bright row. Over here I have shimmery shades and over here I have my matte shades. 
If you guys know how OCD I am in general, but especially with makeup, this palette just makes me happy. I love the inserts because everything is placed perfectly. I love the way that I've organized the colors. I love MAC eyeshadows so, so, so much. So guys, that was the eyeshadow junkie tag. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know in a comment down below your answers to these questions, or please film this video yourself and let me know so I can go check it out. I thought this was a super, super fun tag video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.